Did y'all hear my ding ding ding? What was that? The end? Refreshing. Oh, okay. Welcome to Mike's Beer Channel on YouTube. Thank you. Do you know what language they speak in Iceland? No, I don't. Me neither, so I'm gonna have oh to save gosh. you. I'm gonna have to save the cheesy the cheesy uh accent. Accent, although it's a Viking. Is this sweet speed? Uh, Vikings really Swedish? I'm sorry. The only thing I can think about Swedish Sweden is Abba and the Swedish Chef from the Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> and there was this place called Little Bit of Sweden that my grandparents used to take us to. That was a a Scandinavian Too buffet cool type. Um, buffet. Icelandic is the official language of Iceland. Icelandic. Okay. It's an Indo-European language belonging to the subgroup of North Germanic languages. It's closely related to Norwegian and Farsi. Farsi? Wow, that's how you spell Farsi? What's Farsi? Although there are slight traces of Celtic influence in ancient Icelandic literature. Celtic. Like Celtic Frost? The, sweet, the Swiss thrash band? What? <laughs> Anyhow, we're going to try Einstock. Ogerber. I don't know how hey, to I think that was actually a pretty good accent. I don't know how to pronounce this letter. It looks like a D with a slash in it. Hold up the can again. No, turn it. Turn it, turn it, turn it. It's kind of like frozen. Frozen oh, fractals. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, go ahead. Anyhow, Sorry. This is Icelandic Arctic Lager, and this has been sitting in the fridge for weeks, and I wanted to try this because we tried Einstock, one of their beers before, and it was delicious. I don't remember where it is. I didn't do any prep because I don't prep. I just drink beer. <laughs> if you're looking for a professional. You're not it. No. No. I've just convinced my wife to let me drink all kinds of beers. In fact, this one right here is going to be our 212th beer we've tried. Holy cow. We missed 200. I wanted to do something for 200, but I guess we'll have to go for 250. We'll do something at 250? Okay, sure. Maybe 300? What am I, a New Yorker now? I don't know what is that okay. about. Anyhow. But, you know, you hurry, need to hurry up because I'm getting really cold. <laughs> it's cold outside. It's from... Maybe it's cold outside. Ser fama luda dur aluga... Yeah, okay. Was that English? Iceland's magnificent glaciers draw curious legions around the world. Experience the taste of Icelandic paradise with our Arctic lager. Brewed with citra and citrus cryo hops. Our dry hop lager delivers a full flavor of refreshing taste for all adventurous Vikings. When I think of Vikings, I think of Amon Amarth. They're a melodic death metal band from... Oh, uh, I was like, what? Um, <laughs> where are they? Are they from Norway? I just Finland? realized nobody can see that crazy look on my face, and that's a good thing, because I don't want everybody to see me. Arch, enemy, arch enemies from Sweden, I think. I like to be the voice behind the... It's Bomi. I don't know, mic. The voice behind the mic, huh? The voice behind the mic. Okay. You're the mic. Get it? Yes. Okay, I know it was bad. It was like a dad joke. Okay. That was like a dad joke, and I'm the mom. That is true. Anyhow, um, you just blew me off, just like I'm the husband. I didn't. I'm trying. We're in the middle of Anyhow. a video here. And what? What? What's your point? Oh, Ooh, hang on. What does that supposed to mean? Okay, I like this. I love this. This right here. Do you want some more of it? I might. I might have to buy more of this just for the can to put in our bar. Holy cow, they're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Oh, that'd be really pretty with lights around it. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Do you know what I smell here? Hops. I smell... Well, it said it had citra hops in it, so yeah. Yeah. It's bitter. Like, why did you save this one for the last one of the testing day? Oh. Oh, it's got just enough. It's almost German bitterness yeah. at the end, but there's like a... It's not citrusy. It's not, but oh my god. Oh my goodness. It's like a reverse pucker. Like where you took it in. It's like a what? It's a reverse pucker. Ah. You said ah, you have no idea what I'm talking about because you like it. 
Oh yeah, I like this. The first one that comes to my mind though is Founders Lager. And I think I might like this better than Founders Lager. 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 Although I gotta be honest, my memory is not what it used to be, so when I look at this like Dang 50. Like the first beer we did in 310 of 18, Founders oh God, All Day IPA was a 98. That's my favorite beer. Then we did Irish beer. That was your favorite beer. And then we had Arrogant Bastard, which was a 12, the lowest beer ever rated. And then we had... Uh, yeah, that was pretty awful. Then we did we do our Cinco de Mayo thing. Then there's a lot of... We have tried a lot of beer. Although, to be fair about the 212, like, we have an I.W. Harper. <laughs> That's a bourbon. That's not beer. Founders Porter, Paps AP. I don't even think they make that anymore. Bach Holt, which was horrible. horrible. We still have that wine thing to do, too. We do have some wine things to do. Liza Spade. Uh, yeah, I mean, we had Bovic. That was a horrible beer. Oh, here we go. Iron City still holds the record. Or no, does it? No, Arrogant Bastard was a 12. Iron City scored a 14. Arrogant Bastard was bad. Uh, Iron City was bad, but Arrogant Bastard... Oh, yeah. Especially because the name we should have rated it even lower because of that. Oh, and they're so cocky in their label. Like, this is going to be the best beer you ever tried. Best beer I've ever tried? I'm pretty sure a moose could piss in a jar and it would taste better. Mm. Anyhow, back to Einstuck. Einstuck? I don't know. This is pretty good. I like it. She does not like it. I don't like it. I, I like, like the it. can though. It's very pretty color. I like the, I like it because it's got the bitterness of like a German beer, at the end, and it's got just enough hop, give you a little bit of not citrus really, but you got you can t you can tell there's hop in here. Hops in here, like this one here. There might be hops in there. I mean, I'm assuming there's hops in there, but you can't taste them. You might be able to taste them, but they're not the bright, refreshing hops. Anyhow, That's not I very like refreshing this. to me. <laughs> this is good stuff. It's not going to break the scale, but if you don't like an IPA and you like a bitter beer, it might be okay. But I don't like it. Okay. And on that note, uh, I say try it. She says don't waste your time. Well, you know, I don't want to ever tell anybody not to waste their time. You never know what you'll like. Although, like at Beer School at Bush Gardens, we both drank skunky beer. And finished everybody else's And we skunky finished beer other we people's skunky beer. The people we knew. We knew. And it was before COVID. Yes. They probably couldn't do that now. They probably, probably couldn't do beer school that now. <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe, smash the notification button. Till next time.